Hi, welcome. I'm Elizabeth with Wallace Young Creations. My friend Biddy has knitted a lot of shawls. Today I would like to show you a few of them. I've picked six, two smaller ones, two medium size and two large ones. Different, different shapes and different techniques used and hopefully there's something you like and that inspires you. I will put all the pattern names and designer names as well as the yarn colors in the notes below. Please note that I'm not affiliated with any of the designers and I don't sell the patterns. You can find all the patterns on Ravelry and of course the yarns are on our website wollesyarncreations.com. So let's get started. First one is called Sobriaki. It's a Charlotte size smaller shawl by Romy Hill. It uses one of our cotton silk yarns, 100 gram skein with 480 yards. Kind of a triangle shape. And you can see how the colors gradually blend from one to the next. The pattern is called Subriake by Romy Hill. And this is what the yarn looks in the skeins. The yarn, the color is called Dali. It's a cotton silk blend. 100 gram skein with 480 yards. As you probably know, we wind them in two directions. So these are Dali 1 and 2, and they're really the same inside out. Some people prefer center pull skeins, some people don't, so that's what, we, we, that's what we like to give you the option of choosing either one. This is Dali, it's a cotton silk blend, and Biddy knitted it up in this pattern. It's called Sobriake by Romy Hill, using one skein. And as you hopefully can see, there are some beads in there as well. Those are size six beads, adding a little sparkle. If you're new to beading or like to learn a new trick, Biddy taught me to use dental floss for beading, which is super cool and easy. I made a video a while back showing you how to do that. You can find it on the website under the video tab. So thank you Biddy for teaching me this trick with the dental floss and for knitting all these beautiful shawls. Thank you, I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much for your help. So this was um, using one skein of our cotton silk yarns, Sobria K by Romy Hill. The next one is also by Romy Hill. It's the one I'm wearing. It's called Globe Mellow. In this case, we used one skein of our cotton yarn. These are 100% cottons. The color is called mauve. Again, these are versions one and two, which are really the same inside out and reverse. And you just need one skein of color mauve to knit the shawl I'm wearing, which is called Globe Mellow. I like to wear it this way, dresses up a t-shirt. It's a little something, feels nice against the skin. And let me show you how it looks. Highly wearable shape. It starts with a garter stitch, easy relaxing knitting, and then it has this beautiful lace portion. This is one skein of our cotton yarns in color mauve. You just need one of those. Of course, there are more color choices online. And the cotton and the cotton silk I just showed you, they have the same yardage, so you could use either one. So that's how I like to wear it over a t-shirt, just something, a little shawl around the neck and it, it's super pretty. So those were two smaller shawls using a hundred gram skein. And next up, I like to show you two shawls, which we knitted with 150 gram skeins. First example is High Seas by Kieran Foley. As you can see, it's a rectangle. 
knit it from side to side. Also a nice lace pattern with a few beads in there. The color is called Zephyr. This is how Zephyr looks. It goes from blue to uh, sunflower yellow, light gray to dark gray. These are 150 gram skeins with 720 yards. They're all fingering weight. And it takes just one skein of this size. And this is color Zephyr. Of course, there are more color choices online. The pattern is called High Seas. Beautiful pattern by Kieran Foley. This pattern is highly adaptable. You can make it longer, wider, shorter, depending on the yarn you have and what kind of a shawl you're looking for. Biddy knitted six repeats of the pattern to get the size I'm showing you. And you see how it blends from one color to the next. This is High Seas by Kieran Foley. Next one is also using 150 gram skein. And this pattern is called Goldfish by Yuki Uedo. This starts at the neck and is knitted downwards to the, to the red edge in this case. Great example how yarn and pattern work really well together. color is called Collegic. Let's show you. It looks like this. Again, these are versions one and two, and you just need one skein. These are 150 gram skeins. Cheery red, white, sapphire blue, and navy blue. This is, the color is called Collegic. 150 gram skeins and the pattern is called goldfish nice size bearable shape really beautiful shawl those were two shawls in the medium size and I have two more to show you which are a little bit bigger they're both by Stephen West, and if you are familiar with Stephen's designs, he likes big shawls and colorful shawls, and these two really fit the bill. The first one is called Painting Diamonds, and it is big. <laughs> it's a rectangle. Let me see if I can show you all the colors. Really nice to wrap up in because uh, it might be big, but it's not heavy since it's fingering weight and skin soft cotton. So the, the yarns are hypoallergenic. That means people even who have allergies or have very sensitive skin can work with this yarn and wear the shawls. Really lovely against the skin. The colors we used are frappe and tulips. These are 150 gram skeins with 720 yards each. So that's a lot of yarn. And uh, you see the shawl size you get out of these two skeins. So two lips and frappe, one skein each. We have kits on our website. Of course, there are more color choices as well. So it's a set like this makes this shawl, which is called Painting Diamonds. By Stephen West. Lovely colors and I like how the colors work with each other. This is Painting Diamonds and I have another one by Stephen. This is called Painting Bricks and this is my favorite. It, I just love the colors. 
me show you the colors. They are called Dogwood and Counterpane. Dogwood is this one. It has three gray shades and black. And this is Counterpane, which has red, taupe, Kind of a grayish grayish blue and a and a navy blue and these two put together counterpane and dogwood make this shawl which is called painting bricks by stephen west as you can see it's also very big really nice size to wrap up in but it's super variable since it's not heavy so you will get some use out of it and this is uh, the type of shawl i would wear all year actually painting bricks by stephen west all of them knitted by biddy so thank you biddy those were six shawls i wanted to share with you today hope you saw something you liked, get some inspiration. All the yarns are on our website, wallaceyarncreations.com. Thank you for watching today. Happy knitting.